years, 110 stories high. They are no longer there. Uh, just moments ago, uh, I spoke to the chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department, who was obviously one of the first people here on the scene after those two planes were crashed into the side, we assume, of the World Trade Center towers, which used to be behind me over there. Um, chief Albert Turry told me that he was here just literally 10 or 15 minutes after the events that took place this morning. That is the first crash. He said that at one point he had roughly 10 alarms. That would equate to roughly 200 to 225 uh, New York City firefighters who were in the building. This was after the crash, trying to rescue civilians who were in there. Now, earlier this morning on the Today Show, we spoke to the director of the World Trade Center. He said that at that hour of the morning, you could have upwards of 10,000 people in each of those towers. That would be 20,000 people total in each tower. Um, the chief of safety, as I said, chief safety of the uh, fire department of New York City, told me that uh, after, shortly after nine o'clock, he had roughly ten alarms, roughly 200 men in the building, trying to effect rescues of some of those civilians who were in there, uh, and that basically he received word of the possibility of a secondary device, that is another bomb going off. Uh, he tried to get his men out as quickly as he could but he said that there was another explosion which took place and then an hour after the first hit here with well, the first crash that took place he said uh, there was a, another explosion that took place uh, in one of the towers here uh, so obviously he according to his theory he thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building one of the secondary devices he thinks that took place after the initial impact was he thinks may have been on the plane that crashed into one of the towers the second device he thinks he speculates was probably planted in the building uh, so that's what we have been told by um, albert turry who is the uh, chief of safety for the new york city fire department he told me that just moments ago now we are continuing to hear explosions uh, we are continuing to hear explosions here downtown, and what we've been told by some of the fire officials is that there are some gas lines that occasionally are exploding uh, down there, because obviously, as you can imagine, there are a lot of open gas lines down in the southern part of Manhattan where the World Trade Center towers used to be. As far as the situation right here, basically what we have are hundreds of New York City firefighters and other New York City rescue units who are massed here. There is a, a cordon down, just down there. Uh, we are not sure, to be honest, if some rescue workers have tried to go beyond that point as yet. When we spoke to the uh, head of the Port Authority Police, that would be the, uh, the, uh, the uh, organization that is in charge of the World Trade Center building itself, uh, the Port Authority Police uh, chief told us that they were at that point, about, I'd say, 40 minutes ago, uh, about to make a decision on whether or not it was safe to send emergency workers back in there. But the bottom line is that according to the chief of safety of the New York City Fire Department, he says that he probably lost a great many men in those secondary explosions. And he said that there were literally hundreds, if not thousands of people in those two towers when the explosions took place. He said everything above the 60th floor was extremely difficult to get to, as you can imagine. Pat Dawson. Back to you. Pat Dawson, thanks very much. We have some videotape, I understand that we're gonna show you uh, from the West Bank. These are Palestinian celebrations in the wake of Tuesday's terror attacks in the United States. Pa apparently, Palestinians took to the street chanting, God is great. People were throwing candy, distributing candy to passers-by. The U.S. government obviously Hello? has Somebody become increasingly, un increasingly unpopular, particularly in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, because Palestinians feel that the U.S. government has sided with Israel. One man, uh, Nawal Abdel Fattah, wearing a long blast, black dress, threw sweets in the air saying, actually that's a woman, pardon me, saying she was happy because, quote, America is the head of the snake. America always stands by Israel in its war against us. Meanwhile, Yasser Arafat emerged to speak with reporters ahead of the Palestinian Liberation Organization. He said, we are completely shocked. It's unbelievable unbelievable. We completely condemn this very dangerous attack and I convey my condolences to the American people, to the American president, and to the American administration, not only in my name, but on behalf of the Palestinian people. And this comes on a day, Katie, in which uh, obviously there's been a steady deterioration of the situation in the Middle East, but uh, Shimon Peres was to meet today with Yasser Arafat in the West Bank. Uh, 
the, uh, there has been some criticism of the Bush administration for not getting more involved in the peacemaking efforts in the Middle East uh, in, the, in the past few weeks uh, from within the Republican Party as well. Because it's, it has gotten increasingly building. I mean, what are you going to do? Either, you saw people diving out the building. Either you're going to either you're going to be inflamed, or or you you just got to you just got to try to make it at that point. Just just I, I can't even. This this that. Like my wife, she don't even want to talk about it. You saw the building. I'm sorry, sir. It was like you saw the building, and you turned around, and you didn't see the tower no more. That was the World Trade. Can you talk to me at all? Can you talk to me? Obviously, you have a mask. You, you've made it out. Can you tell me what it was like, sir, and all? Yeah, I just want to, is this being televised right now? Yeah. I just want to let my wife know. Go ahead, yes, go ahead. Uh, Bridget, the last time you saw me, you heard from me, I was downstairs at the Marriott. I'm okay, okay? I, I was in the Marriott at the World Trade Center. Right. Can you tell me how you got out? I mean, where? It, uh, it's a long, it's a long no, story. I know. Long and you're tired. Okay. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I totally understand. Okay. All right. There are two more people over here as well. Sir, can you, can you tell us? I mean, you obviously walked all the way from downtown, can you can you put it into words what you experienced? Um, something like you could never imagine. I mean, bad, real bad. What was it, sir? Pandemonium. Can you? What? Where were you? Can you? Can we can you kind of set the scene? Broadway. Okay. And well, we we had heard that the first plane hit the hit tower number one. We went to take a look at it, obviously. While we were there, tower number two got hit. Total explosion. All four sides of the building just blew out. Sorry? We saw the plane go into the building. And at that point, did you did, were you running? We ran. <laughs> we, 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 ran. we ducked out of the way. Debris was flying all through the air. Everybody was running. And then after it settled down and you, you, there was an internal explosion in the building, maybe like 10, 15 minutes later. And like 10 minutes after that, the building came down. Where, where did you get this? Were they handing this out to you? No, I, we just happened to run into one of the buildings and one of the guys in the building was giving them out because there was smoke. You couldn't see. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. Could, could you breathe? Could no, you breathe? You a lot of people no. are saying. No, we couldn't could breathe. breathe. It was it was really bad. People were walking into the vestibules of buildings just covered in soot worse than him. It was really disgusting. It was bad. It was really bad. All right. Can you want to tell your family that you're okay? Or? Oh, we yeah. Them already, okay. We called we're, them, we're but okay. we're okay. Um, your name? My name's Rob Royster. To other people that are down there, I hope your family's okay. Yeah. It's bad, and we know there are a lot of people hurt. Uh, our hearts and of course a lot of people as you hear personal testimony about what's going on here Jim and Kitty you can't you can't help but feel a